Hi, welcome to this video on Setlam examination. Today we're going to show you a very interesting case in which there's actually gas in the vitreous cavity post retractomy. Let's go and see. Here you see the patient is pseudophagic. This is just a slit beam examination. You just gently lift the eyelid. Just you just have to look at the vitreous and look there was just a glimpse of that sometimes you get that glimpse I just go back slightly you need to see that glimpse over here this is the level the fluid level of gas which you're seeing over here which you need to identify pretty soon in these patients so as you am showing you this is the area of gas bubble which you need to identify very initially because the gas can be confused with an oil but the air has got a buoyancy of its own or gas has got that and it tends to move much more quickly than gas so this patient had about 70 percent or 60 percent fill of gas let's undo this and let's go forward on this so you can see this gas bubble moving over in that area in the cavity and then you put on your superfield lens this is a red reflex so you that with gas you get a good red reflex and then put your lens on i'm trying to move the eye right and left and try to figure out if you can see the gas bubble better then using a superfield lens you're going back and uh, looking at the retina over here and you can see that you see that sheen on the surface of the retina the high reflectivity is present as you see in patients with oil so when i was seeing this patient and recording that i said this might be sometime more difficult for you but uh, here you can see the this is because both of them the oil and gas look similar this is the inferior meniscus of the gas this is the retina you're seeing without gas and this is the area of the retina you're seeing with the gas but as i said uh, you have to figure out starting from the anterior segment that you're seeing gas and then as you go back you need to see the mobility of that meniscus if that meniscus is moving very fast that is gas compared to if you're seeing with oil the gas remains there and slowly gets absorbed over time. If it's SF6, it'll take a few weeks to absorb. If it's C3F8, it'll take a month to absorb. So you tell the patient that he'll see a bubble in front of it and it slowly gets absorbed over time. So you can see that shine we are talking about. The CD ratio seems to be okay in this patient, 0.3. It was highly reflective shine you were getting from the surface of the retina. That is with the air bubble. And you tend to see a magnified image when you're seeing patients through an air bubble it's similar for silicon oil but the shine is slightly more with air bubble and if you're trying to see the same patient with a 90 diopter or a 20 diopter lens it'll be difficult so if you're seeing with an indirect uh, ophthalmoscope it'll be 28 diopter lens will be better off for you so some people think that might be difficult to see retina after you put gas in yes if you're doing with the indirect it can be slightly challenging especially for the first few days first first day post-op especially with the 20 diopter lens so 28 diopter lens is good you ask the patient to lie down so the gas bubble goes up and you can see through it you won't get any meniscus but with the with the 90 diopter lens you get a reasonable um, a review with that and uh, if you if there's no Cataract, especially you get a posterior gas cataract in patients who are phagic, but pseudophagic patients luckily do not get that. The only problem you can get with pseudophagic patients is sometimes that the, the gas bubble can leak through the anterior chamber and come in there. And if that happens, sometimes then the view tends to get difficult. But over time, as I said, the gas bubble is going to get less and less as the patient is going to see an air bubble or a bubble in front of him that is below him. So that's the examination with the gas bubble. So it's important to identify that because if there's any recurrent attachment under the gas bubble, 
you can go and address that rather than stay late and uh, you find out. So don't be scared that you won't be able to see through a gas bubble. It's pretty simple and gives you a good reasonable results. Thank you very much for watching.